Let's talk about absolute value inequalities. And the one we're going to talk about first is our less than or less than or equal. And so we're going to start with a straightforward example. Suppose we have the absolute value of x is less than 4. And what we want to know is the range of values that x can be and still be true. And so remember that for our absolute values, we always solve two things. And that's still going to be the case. But the two things we're going to solve are we're going to take this and write it exactly as it's written without the absolute values. And then we're going to take the x and we're going to change the sign. And because we're changing the sign and we have an inequality, this becomes a greater than. Or we could write this as minus 4 is less than x. And any time you see a less than or a less than an equal, it means and. I know another teacher that explains this. This is a less than d. So when you see a less than, think less than d. And a really cool thing with less thans or less than and equals is we can take this number here and we can start it in that combined form by changing the sign, because we notice the x's are the same, and solving from here. So in this case, our answer is everything from minus 4 to 4 makes this one true. All right, so let's take what we've learned and let's go and do a different problem with it. What if we have 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to 5? Well, we recognize it's an absolute value with a less than, so we just take this number and we change the sign, copy the sign down, put 2x plus 3, copy the sign down, and put the original number. Now whatever I do to one piece, I can do to all pieces. And we get minus 8 is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to 2. Divide everything by 2. We get minus 4 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 1. And we end up with an answer of minus 4 to 1. One final point I'd like to make is to remember that whenever we're solving an absolute value, we need to get the absolute value by itself first before we solve. So we're going to subtract 4 first. And then we'll get minus 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to 10. Now we take that 10, we change its sign, and we put it on the outsides. We get minus 3x plus 2 in the middle. We then subtract 2 from all of our pieces. So we get minus 12 is less than or equal to minus 3x, which is less than or equal to 8. Divide everything by minus 3. So remember that this is going to switch our inequalities. They're now all greater than. We get the x by itself, and a 4 and a minus 8 thirds. We don't like the order of this, so we switch it. We get minus x 8 thirds is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4, and gives the following interval notation answer.